Madam Chairman, distinguished panel, I bring to you the clinician's perspective on the treatment of uh, OSSN with topical interferon from the lovely city of Jodhpur, jewel of the great Indian Thar Desert. So as you know, uh, OSSN is the most common ocular tumor found on the surface of the eye and it occurs mostly in the elderly age group. It's actually an umbrella term which encompasses a big spectrum ranging from dysplasia to carcinoma in situ to invasive squamous cell carcinoma. So we had this case, a 64-year-old male who presented with a diffuse, thick, gelatinous, perilimbal, vascularized mass involving all quadrants of the bulbar conjunctiva and limbus with loss of ocular surface integrity, as you can see in this picture here. The picture resembled limbal stem cell deficiency with conjunctivalization. He was being treated elsewhere as a case of unilateral allergic conjunctivitis for two months prior to our visit and was taking steroid eye drops and even oral steroids. The vision in the unaffected eye was 624 and it had a cataract and in the affected eye, which you can see here in the picture, the vision was half meter counting fingers. A clinical diagnosis of diffuse OSSN was made and a biopsy was done to confirm the diagnosis. And the patient was put on lubricants and interferon eye drops four times a day. So this is another picture of the same patient. In the insert, you can see that the lesion doesn't pick up any fluorescein stain, but the blue light highlights the extensive surface damage on the cornea. Now the lesion started regressing with restoration of corneal clarity within two weeks, which was very surprising for us. At the end of five weeks, there was complete resolution of the lesion and the visual acuity improved from half meter counting fingers to 636. At eight weeks, there was complete resolution of the lesion and interferon eye drops were continued for another two months after clinical resolution. There has been no recurrence noted at follow-up at six months, but now we have this patient under follow-up for one year with no recurrence at all. And here is another picture, a close-up of the cornea showing the excellent resolution of the diffuse OSSN with restoration of corneal clarity. This picture was taken at five weeks and the inset at the bottom shows uh, corneal clarity with some residual corneal opacities. So interferon, ladies and gentlemen, is a naturally occurring glycoprotein which binds to cell surface receptors and has anti-tumor and antiviral properties. And uh, interferon eye drops have been found to be remarkably effective in treating OSSN and with a very low recurrence rate ranging from about 0 to 4%, as has been reported in literature. Now, the key thing to note here is that 15 years ago, I was reading papers in various international journals about uh, the use of interferon in the treatment of OSSN. But at that time, interferon was terribly expensive in our country and we could not use it. But in recent years, in the last two years, it has become very affordable, very inexpensive and cheap and easily available all across the country in injectable form from about 900 rupees to 1700 rupees. So that is the important take home message that we now have a cheaply available interferon uh, in our country. So the question now is how do you compound interferon eye drops? And the strength used for treating OSSN is 1 million international unit per ml. And commercially the injections are available in strengths of 3 to 5 million international units. So for one, mil, one ml of one ml of distal water, four ml of distal water should be put. Up, All right, I'll just wind up. The key thing to remember here is that you have to refrigerate the drops once you compound them. And in conclusion, we successfully treated OSSN, diffuse OSSN with interferon eye drops. It is very inexpensively available in the country now. Thank you very much for your attention. Nice presentation, sir. But what was the strength which you used for your uh, study in your case of interferon? Uh, one million international units Same. per ml. Yeah. Uh, sir, did you do an anterior segment OCT for before and prior and end of it? 
no unfortunately i don't have an entry segment ot in my practice so ocd in my practice so yeah it's basically a gross uh, this thing that you it is improved you don't oh yes mm -hmm. yes we didn't perform any ocd because don't have one how long was the patient followed up for recurrence one year now uh, any inter any role of mmc and the pfu oh yes there certainly is uh, but they are more toxic than interferon so that's why current literature literature supports the use of interferon rather than mmc in 5fu okay thank you sir